Hello, audience. I'm Cryoptic Voice, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. It is Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Almost a full moon, but it won't matter because Gala has his special coffee. Uh, protests arrive over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Gorman made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. I do have a iced coffee with me today. Oh, oh great. Another voice. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or F-I-R-E for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures who would consider an alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. <sighs> oh, that's an eye catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, am I right? To avoid attention, you know. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. Oh, I can't do this voice. I can't do it. I feel it in my throat. Oh, God. They are superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. See any suspicious... Uh, you see, if you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Oh no. Let's rephrase story. I forgot to do that. Loving in silence. Oh, why is it so. Oh, this one long. Alright, strap in, ladies and gentlemen. It was a Saturday night, as usual. I picked her up from her apartment for another Saturday night date. I used the word another. But to be honest, this was the first actual Saturday night date done since I don't even know when. It wasn't every week a cool event related to our hobby happened so we, or I, I suppose I should say, weren't going to miss this chance for a cozy evening in her apartment. So touchy. We'd only been dating for four months and I kid you not we couldn't have been more different. I'm the type of person who feels restless if I don't go out on the weekend while she'd prefer to lock her apartment from the inside, flush the key down the toilet, and never leave again. That's why me going out to her apartment for the on the weekend was the fairest option for both of us. I mean, we can just order food online and chill without having to worry about the traffic. Ain't that cool? That's what she said whenever I asked if she wanted to eat out somewhere. That happened a lot in our first month together. After that, I just tried to get used to it. We drove to the event. It wasn't that far, but traffic's always ridiculous on the weekends. Throughout the drive, we barely spoke. Total silence except for the music playing from her playlist. If she knew the song, we would sing along to the song. If not, then total silence it was. When we arrived at the event, it changed. She became the most outgoing, friendly, and talkative person around. Even I was nothing compared to her. And I usually consider myself a very talkative person. We said hi to everyone we knew, some we didn't. Then we tried all the games before show <laughs> Then we tried all the games being showcased there. We sat next to each other, trying one game after another, commenting on the story, art, music, gameplay, atmosphere, any other aspects you might use to judge a game. But when we played, we just played. No talking during the gameplay, or no talking during the playthrough. Total silence. As if she was recharging spent energy from all the interacting she'd done before. Oh gosh. Back in her apartment, we didn't talk much. We had two cups of green tea latte for both of us, and then we watched Netflix together with only a few words traded. Don't you feel bored dating me? She asked. Really? This again? I know. I'm sorry to bring this up again, but you were so silent today I thought you were mad at me. Honey, I'm not mad at you. Why would I be? I don't know if it's... I don't know. It's just that I'm super introverted, you're super extroverted, and there are times when I feel like I'm holding you back from your true self. You're just overthinking things, honey. Tonight was amazing. I can't thank you enough for being willing to join me. 
and sacrifice your stay-at-home relaxation time. You both know how much you love staying in and how rarely you get it, you get the chance to do it. Why do you like me? You've asked this question a dozen times. <laughs> a dozen times in the last four months, you know? I nudged her and smiled. I just wanted to make sure, she said, and started crying. Jeez. Hey, hey, don't be sad. It's okay. And to answer your question, I don't know why I like you. That answer again? Because it's true. All I know is that I feel comfortable around you. I just feel happy, calm, and I don't know. Do I need to know? That sounds dangerous, liking someone without knowing the reason. Oh, believe me, dear. I was confused for the longest time before I realized. It's actually the best feeling I've ever had. How about you? Why do you like me? Who said I liked you? <gasps> I was speechless for a moment. She grinned at me and giggled through her through the remains of her teeth. Through the remains of her teeth? That sounds like she's missing teeth. You should have seen her face. Oh my god, don't mess around with me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Good, it means you weren't lying about your feelings. She smiled. You haven't answered my question. It's a secret. That's not fair. I told you mine. I hate to break it to you, but... Uh, don't know is not a proper answer, my dear. But it's an honest one. Oh god. I know. We stayed silent again. But that was my introvert girlfriend and me. My answer to her was obviously a lie. Not knowing why you like someone is super scary. But I never imagined being able to feel like that for anyone other than her. At least that's how I wish things could be. Thought as I drove back home alone in my car in total silence. It sounds like they're gonna break up. It does not sound like a happy relationship. Also, I gotta say Freya, as a writer, this is not your best work. It's like, story-wise and grammatically, I guess. I don't know how I feel about that one. Phew. Really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Is it Neil? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, man. Remembering the voices is, like, the hardest thing. I should really just, like, go back to the previous episodes and look at them so I know what the voices are. Good evening, Cryoptic. Oh, shit, I just, you hear that? I just, that was me punching my microphone. Sorry. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? You want to order first? Nah. Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Sure. Green tea, mint, mint. Is this like another special drink? With a special name or just mint tea? Ah, Medicatch. I think, I don't know how that's, I guess. The drink's ready. Ooh, this looks really fresh. I call this Marrakech, inspired by its origin. Marrakech in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then throws up oh my it's warm but very refreshing no wonder morocco <laughs> no one no wonder morocco is often associated with tea <gasps> do i get a new thing how about you miss myrtle one second while i check my phone aqua full metal conflict video games in general grandma <laughs> oh it's a list i was like I was like, she's telling grandma? I don't know what to say. Mermaid from Atlant- She's from Atlantis? She's from Atlantis? What I'm doing with my life, moved to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find the place- Place in person where I belong while doing something I love. I think she might have found it in Myrtle. I think they- They'll probably get together. But that's what I mean. Like, I don't want to assume that these people are just going to get together because I have no idea. All right, fresh and healthy drink from Morocco. What was the other named one? Not that one. Is it that one? No. Oh my god, I just hiccuped. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order anything right away? Sure. I'll have the... Take Tarek. What if I... Joe, no. Uh oh. Reset. That's not right. That's not the view pad. Hello? What? That's not right. I said that and I swear I heard it echo. Ah. I have no idea. I thought that maybe the. 
I don't know, actually. A uh, Tateric? I don't know what a Tateric is. I have not discover, discovered a Tateric. Should I look it up? Real quick. Hey Siri, look up Tateric from Coffee Talk. Does anybody's phone go off when I whenever I do that? I don't think I do it often, but Oh, here's a list of all the stuff. What is it to Terry? What? Terry is E T and milk. Coolio. T T and milk. I didn't know you could do like Double T. That's whack. So Myrtle likes T too. Tateric, there we go. I I still don't understand how people enjoy putting milk in their tea. It's just not my thing. I'm closer to Myrtle. Favorite things, me time. Uh, as I've stated before, working on full Metal Conflict series. Wow. I didn't really learn much about you anyway then. It is to Tarek. You with milk mixed by pouring the two repeatedly between cups, originally from Malaysia. There's so many different. So much culture and all these things. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be. That's not her. That was, that was Hyde. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. Just like the Tateric you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. That's not her voice, but I totally forget her voice. It was like... What was it like? Oh my god, who's that character? I don't know. Where did, where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. I did? You learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, from the videos on the internet. Why am I like... Why am I off-center? I have to like push the controller right in order to oh there we go Peace. so um how are things going in the office as usual tiring but thanks to you and your team <laughs> we've made some good progress with the problem we've been stuck on for a while oh my god that's not her right voice god damn it i don't have i can't look at the other episodes right now all right well glad i could be of help not every day our research can have an impact as directed as this. As direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. That's not her voice. I, oh, I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Uh as if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, <laughs> they'll say. Uh, please see your family get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. Dot, dot, dot. I wish I could help you, or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. Sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I f it's right on the tip of my tongue. I know how you're supposed to sound, but it won't come. It won't come out of me. It won't. It won't exit my throat and mouth. I don't. I'm gonna take a sip. Of, I, no, should I take a sip of water or my or my coffee? Let's do both. What? Well, uh, coffee first. Ugh. Coffee. Okay. Think for a second. How I want her to sound. I'm not that. <laughs> Fuck me, bro. <laughs> I'm 
not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. That's it. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? She has a game? Can I play it? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it. Fast. Before they give your spot to another indie. I... I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then. And the event's even in Seattle. Why don't you... You, you don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodations. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, judges are usually prolific people in the industry. And also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. Thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? Uh, what about me? I'm stupid. Have you seen me play games? Have you seen me play Amnesia? <laughs> I was pretty stupid in Amnesia Bunker. What if they don't like my game? And say bad things about it or about me that's not gonna happen it's an expo not the internet people are way nicer in real life <sighs> it, i think because I'm, I'm switching between voices so much that's why i lose the voice all the time even after all that it'll still be there by myself the whole event mm. that one is a problem yeah Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight, showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> you know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. I, I can't do that right now. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then... You shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I could just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 coffee sip. <sighs> I'm warming up to this coffee. It's hazelnut. The last one I had in previous episodes was uh, Hazel Pecan, and I, I like that one way more. Uh, but this one's nice. It's another iced coffee, which I've, I don't really drink, but I might do it more often. It's not bad. But, but, but... I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Okay. Good. <laughs> that was weird. That's what she said. That's what I meant to say. Now, who are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the Expo Build ready? Expo Build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I give you the guidelines on what to have for the Expo Build. You have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Myrtle just fucking steals her whole game. Got it. Now let's see. Oh. New player has joined the arena. Oh! I thought it was gonna be Freya. Hello, Miss Rachel. Oh my Oh no, what is her voice? I don't remember. It was a cat. 
It was a cat voice. Meow. I don't know. Meow. Going crazy over this game. Hmm. What's wrong? Or just don't talk. <laughs> Make my life easier. Don't talk. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. I don't think this was it. But we're, we're rolling with it. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. Yo, nice. They're still adding new performers? Yeah. You might say that those announced this late are... Washed. <laughs> Backups. Oh. Rip. We weren't even chosen for it. But that's still a great opportunity. Coachella. Everybody goes to Coachella. I mean, they do it to do drugs, but there's music too. St yeah, yeah, it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. Oh, that, was, that was... Yes! <laughs> I know. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. I... I, I refuse. I refuse to put honey in hot chocolate. Honey. In hot chocolate? What else gives it sweet? Mint and ginger? That makes sense. You give it no sweet. I'll do the... Not milk and ginger. I mean cinnamon. I should just use double cinnamon. I'm not going to put honey in hot chocolate. I'll do cinnamon and mint. But the mint doesn't really add more sweet. So I'll do double cinnamon. But I, you will never catch me putting honey in hot chocolate, bro. Cinnamon chocolate. That's fine. Have this. This is okay. Here's your order. Thank you. How is it? Hmm. Don't think this is what I ordered. God damn it. You want honey in your hot chocolate, don't you? You freak. I mean, it's a cup of hot chocolate, but there's nothing special about it. Oh, I'm sorry for the mistake. It's okay. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. I should just remake the drink for free. That's what I should do. Other than the instruction. Oh my god, I don't know. Her voice is so hard to remember. Why? Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Oh my god, another voice. Is it going to be Freya now? Dad, let's go. That's what we've been waiting for. What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? <laughs> I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. Oh, we cannot just limit ourselves to this place. And now you're causing another ruckus. <laughs> ruckus. We're sorry, Cryoptic. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Oh, don't make your dad sad. I love your dad. I love Henry. Wow, well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? Basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. What did it have? <laughs> I have I have little pea small brain. Milk and ginger. Ginji! Voila. I'll take a sip of coffee. Spanish Sahara. Let's go. Drink is ready, sir. Mar, Mar. New Facebook. Are we friends with Hendry? Oh my God, there's so many names now. Music enthusiast and father. 
That's a nice bio. There's a hair. I, I know how to make two chocolate drinks, and that's it. Oh, wait, what, what else is... Wait, what else is there? Oh, I just didn't click on it. Warm and cozy just like a day in Barcelona. Yeah, these drinks come from all over. This is amazing. Glad you like it. Dad? Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. Whoa, things are getting high and icy up in here. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. Much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of, of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand, because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Oh, Rachel. I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder! Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. I, you know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning, or, you know... I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I'd need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. Morris Lester. Oh, that sounds familiar. That's the name that sounds a little edgy. A little a little wrong-o if you say it quick enough. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my not my my decision. I You make me so frustrated I can't even talk. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come out to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait! Rachel! Baby, come back! You can blame it all... On me. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment, cryoptic. Oh my god, he's gonna go cry. That makes me so sad. Oh, I love, I love Hendry. Oh hey, <laughs> you guys heard all that? Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with right now. It's kind of fucked. Sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Oh my god, I forget her voice again. <laughs> Why can't it just take my brain? Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. You saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Nee, <laughs> what is that word? No, I was listening. I, I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you're capable of focus. You're capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful, after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. You'll cry optic. We're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks as usual. Please take care on your way home. I don't know.
know why I said it like that. Squishy. I want... Hold on. Uh, don't end the day. I swear to God. I want to... Look at this for a second. Because it's the 30th right now. We have... One, two, three... Four, and I think five. There's only three people on the last day. Three people that day. Four people, four people, four people. Okay, so these next few days are going to be pretty... Eventful. But... We're, we're over halfway now. Only five left. Actually, we're way over halfway. No, we're not. We're not way over. Two episodes across halfway. Okay. Whatever that means, I don't know. Hmm. I guess that's all for to. <gasps> Surprise guest. You're back, Mr. Hendry. Oh. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. You managed to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. Sorry to hear that. I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Uh, now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. They were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. Politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. Oh my god. Don't talk to me about... Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I read that right. That's a fucking bombshell of a sentence I couldn't sleep back then not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats what do you do for a living now after we got married my wife and I opened a record store it's not big but we have a very specific audience we're niche but they love us for it more than enough for our little family you said you're still in touch with your friends in the music music industry they visit my place from time to time and we all meet up at least once a year usually it's at my place Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Cryoptic. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then. Goodbye. I love Hendry. I love Hendry. Hendry, Hendry Georgie, and Neil. Bedchamber? For those lying for a deep slumber. Ooh. You put drugs in there? Melatonin, maybe? Anyway, uh, Georgie, Hendry, and Neil are my favorite characters. They're so... I don't know. They're just a lot of fun. I really like this game. I like, I like characters, and I like how they're going with each character. I think it is great storytelling going on in this game and I'm, I'm really enjoying it and i hope you're enjoying it too and if you are please make sure to give a like on this video comment down below if you want to see more or if you want to see the sequel to this game also comment down below any other types of games that you want to see me play make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when the next episode comes out thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye